in the cabinet is in the create new cabinet icon now to customize that particular uh, cabinet you can go to this edit cabinet command so when you click on this we will again see the pictorial representation of that particular cabinet where we could enter the height of our, our requirement the width the depth and also the we can change the individual thickness of the panel so in this case i will just change the values so that we can see the changes that is taking place with the carpus so i'm entering the values of a wardrobe and also for example i just uh, change the thickness of the top panel to 25 and click confirm so you can see the changes taking place i gave 25 thickness for the top panel so through this we can change the cabinet construction to our requirement similar way coming to the back panel joinery we have uh, 5 mm as the default thickness now to change it to our requirement we can enter the value and first of all there are six types of back panel joinery the most commonly used one and the default the software take is two joint two joint is nothing but the back panel placed in the groove so when you switch it to wireframe view we can see the back panel is placed in the groove provided I'll zoom out and I'll just rotate the cabinet so that we can see in a clear view. You can see the back panel is placed in the slot provided on the panels. So this is nothing but two joint, most commonly used one. And next we have the back rebated. Back rebated will give the offset distance as zero. So when we see this is similar to that of uh, the back panel, uh, the two joint. But the difference is here the, the slot is provided, not the groove is provided, the slot is provided and the back panel is placed in that slot. So this is nothing but the back rebated. And again, next one is back external. Back external is nothing but the panel is placed externally like this. So again, this is joined through screws manually on the side. And now Next one is internal. Internal is nothing but the back panel is placed internally between the, all the side panels and the top panels in this in this way. And we then we have these two joints, which is most commonly used. This 45 degree joint is used for the solid wood works. And we also have the tongue joint, which is a European standard, which we don't currently use. So I'll just skip these two options. So once after we entered the dimensions of the cabinets and also we change the type of back panel joinery, you can click on next. So here we'll be able to type uh, change the type of structure and the top panel construction, distance from front and back, and also the skirting and the corner side. So for the first, we'll focus on the structure. So there are the six types of structure. In this, I'll be explaining these two. This four, since they are not commonly used, I will be not focusing on this. So the first one is uh, between the side panels. When I click on this and click confirm, you can see the top and the bottom panel remains in between the side panels. This is one type of joinery. And again, there is an option called as covering the side panels. When we click confirm, you can see the top and bottom panel covers the side panel. So these are two type of structures which we commonly use. And again, this tongue joint is nothing but we provide a slot and uh, we can we should enter the dimension of that slot and the panel sits on this particular slot. And again, 45 degree joint, we can get a yes, again used for solid wood. So I will be not focusing on this four type of joineries. So now, when we will focus on the top panel construction, the top panel again can be switched from panel construction or the stretches by clicking it. So we can see here that when we are enabling this top panel, we'll be able to change the distance of front and back. So when we enable the stretches, we'll be not able to edit the panel distance. So now we'll focus on the top panel construction. So when we give this here, the distance from front and back. So when we enter the positive value here and click confirm, we can see it will get offsetted the value which I entered. So here we are have entered 50 mm. So it has offsetted from print 50 mm. The similar way, if we enter the negative value and click confirm, it will protrude outwards. So when we want to offset it forward, we can enter the negative value. 
same way we can do it for bottom and behind side also so the procedure is to uh, to move it inwards we enter the positive value to move it outwards we enter the negative value the same way now to increase uh, to provide a corner sight corner sight is nothing but to shift the top panel to a certain depth we can enter the value here and also to provide the skirting we can enter the value the positive value and click confirm here you can see this is nothing but the corner side 100 mm and also provide the skirting as at height as 100 mm so that's about editing the top panel construction now we have seen how to change the top panel construction now if you want the stretches can enable this by clicking on this stretcher again if you want on the bottom you can click on this and now we can click next option so this is uh, this window appears only if you select this stretches option if you have disabled this one we will not get that stretches option so we should ensure that if you want stretches click on upper if you also want on the bottom you can click on the bottom so when you provide this we can see this will completely get uh, disabled so we'll be not able to do any customization with this distance from front and back just click next button so here we will be able to manipulate the thickness width of the stretches and also the distance it, uh, it must be placed from both on the front and the bottom side and again the visibility coming to visibility we can enable only on the front or only on the back for upper and the bottom when you enable only on the front and click confirm you can see only on the front we will get the stretch again similar way for bottom i only on, want on the back so if you click and click confirm we will get you only on the back for the bottom now to change it to vertical orientation i will enable both now and if i click this vertical and click confirm the orientation will be changed to vertical direction vertical orientation so this is how we place the uh, structure and also change the orientation now it also enables us to change the width of width of the the stretcher so if you enter 100 and here also change the 100 and change it to horizontal itself we can see the width of the stretcher becomes 100 and place at certain distance now to change offset the stretcher uh, stretcher uh, distance at a distance we should enter the value you should offset so i given 50 mm so we can see it has offset 50 mm from the front so this is how we edit the structure so we should ensure that we have selected the structure we want on the top on the bottom only then we'll see this window and we can here customize the visibility as well as the orientation so now to place the skirting to the particular cabinet on this window now we should ensure that we should provide some distance skirting height here so if you are not provide skirting it when you click on next option it will show operation is completed so to ensure that we should provide some skirting height so in this case i will give 100 and click on next then it will show the window like this this is nothing but the side view of the cabinet so if you enable this it will enable the front token and if you enable this it will uh, enable the back token token is nothing but the other name for skirting which is uh, mentioned in this software now there are three distances A, B, C and F, E, D and again B and E are nothing but the distances we need to place the skirting so if you want the token to be exactly at the front we can mention the distance here as 0 and we want it exactly at the back we can click 0 for the distance E and click on confirm you can see the token will remain at the plus condition, plus condition and exactly at the front portion similar way for the back back skirting so again now to change uh, offset at certain distance here we can mention the distance as if you want it uh, 50 mm offset from the front you can click confirm we can see the toe kick will move 50 mm offset from the front so this is how we edit the toe kick again the these two options 
distance a and b are initially disabled because this method is not commonly used so if we enable this one what will happen here is we should ensure that the values are saved so since i have given 50 here 50 and also here here 50 so we will just get the cutout like this so this type of construction is again not commonly used so what we will do is we will just disable these two options and c is nothing but the thickness of the token so if you want 18 mm thickness we can go with 18 uh, or if you want to change it to different dimensions we can change the dimensions here so again the distance a and b a and d are not commonly used so the software will default disable these two distances so we only use the distance b and distance e so again if you don't want to place the back skirting we can just click this disable option and click confirm you'll be left only with the front skirting there will be no back skirting 